Childhood infections are no longer a common cause of death in children, but they're a really important problem. They're one of the commonest reasons parents take their children to see the doctor. We're very lucky that we have vaccines against a number of the very serious childhood infectious diseases. And these include things that people would be aware of, perhaps not see anymore, such as measles, mumps, rubella, chickenpox, bacteria that cause brain infections such as the meningococcus or pneumococcus, things that cause whooping cough, the pertussis, and other important bacteria such as Haemophilus influenzae. Clearly keeping up to date with immunisations is very important. But there's also some other things, even from very careful hand hygiene, particularly if you're changing nappies, getting yourself immunised, particularly as a pregnant woman against influenza or the whooping cough, being very careful with how you manage your food, cooking your food, washing your vegetables, but also careful consideration to sickness contacts. Advise your friends or relatives, if they're unwell, not to come and visit through that time. I love doing research because I still have many questions about childhood infections that I want to answer. Already our research has uncovered some very important findings. And this has led to new diagnostic guidelines. In the future, we hope to develop some new vaccines and other public health measures that will stop infections getting transmitted and causing disability.